What's up, what is this, this, crypto muscle, this, 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 coming to you in a YouTube video. Here we are, international now, we're watching it, where it's at. Crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network, coming to you in a video. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, does silence, silence speak volumes? I mean, that's just what it is, all right? I know that you got the, the moon boys, uh, you know, trying to hold it up, trying to hold it up and hold it down, you know, when it comes to drip. That, uh, you know, they're doing what they can to try to, to, to hold it up, you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's like all these little holes, right? And, you know, there's drips coming in from these little holes, right? And they put, they put one finger there to plug that hole, right? And then it's only going to hold up for some time before another hole just happens. They just puncture somewhere else. So they stick another finger there, <laughs> right? And, uh. You know, there's only going to be so much before that pressure of just all that weight of the drip all of a sudden just bam, rips are wide open. And so instead of dripping, it just pours down, you know, and um, man, I I think they're trying to just do what they can to at least hold it up, you know, for the rest of the year, right, 2023, a couple of weeks away. Before the end, before maybe they just finally just let the cat out of the bag and say it's over. All right. So don't let any of this stuff fool you. All right. Into thinking that there's some stuff going on and they got stuff in development and all that. But you know what? Let's take a look at uh, what anything is being said. All right. So. Let me see here. I'm going to fast forward this. Let's see. This push for drip price. Floor higher and higher. Triple D rounds tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. Lots of minting that happened because uh, that's what they're talking about is the minting that's going on. Millions claim but not sold. Otherwise, buyers wouldn't be winning. Volatility, yes, but momentum is now up, and when weekly close is about to make us uber bullish in our eyes. Positive, up and up. Get out of here. All right. And, uh, oh, I got to be bullish every single day. Don't be fooled by this pump, all right? This pump is really nothing, all right? So let's take a look at the pump that's going on right now. All right, so, you know, in the past week, it's gone up, right? So let's see here from... A penny to four cents, all right? And this is exactly what it is. Everything that's being said right here. There's a fresh batch of meat here, blissfully unaware there are sharks in the water, ready to sell when they get to a certain price because it's a high gamble now, not an investment. All right, yeah. Don't be fooled by this because for all you fools that see this price action, you're going to have the top dogs really just dump it on you, all right? And that's just the, the game right now is for every time there's a pump like this, they're going to dump it on you, all right? And you'll be one of the ones holding that bag. And, uh, yeah, I dare you to be that guy to put $200 and let it ride in the bull market. I dare you, all right? And uh, is this a joke or something? Resurgence of drip should be applauded by both the so-called Fudders and Moon Boys. This will tell. All right, is it, is it, is it, is it really going to happen? All right, is it? So, um, if you were here from the start, you know this project has been deactivated and abandoned. Promises made and none kept. Now drip is just a token that says I got scammed by Forex. Any price movement is a last gasp defibrillator charged to a cold dead corpse. Ooh, man. It's amusing watching Jutars get excited and start up their conspiracy theories about how Drip's going to the moon. This shit will never even reach a dollar again. All right? And that's the thing. You know, people, and that's exactly what I just said. We're all waiting to dump and kill it all over again because that's what's going to happen. All right? Over and over again, over and over again. Because what is really happening here? There's really nothing going on. It doesn't matter what Forrest is saying is going on because it's, it's not happening. He's been chilling the whole time, kicking back. All right, so don't be fooled by this. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. 
All right, so we'll, I'll pull the Jamie line, all right, and I dare you to be the next, you know, the next whale. You could be a new whale. Come on, I dare you. I dare you because you won't do it. None of you guys will do it because you guys are scared, all right? Now, I'm not dumb enough to do it, but you guys are scared. So I don't need you guys to keep egging each other on saying, oh, man. It's so cheap, it's so cheap, I should have bought some at that price. I bet you there's a lot of talkers right now at this four cent price. They're saying, oh man, I should have, it was so cheap back then, I should have got some at that price. Well, it'll be at that price again, don't worry. And then when it does get to that price again, you still won't buy it, all right? So that's the thing about this shit. And I, I don't like about these sort of um, playing around with tokens and all that, is that if you're not at the very beginning and you're not one of the top guys at the beginning, oh yeah, this this game they're going to keep playing with you is that they are going to just continue to to talk it up and dump on you. Talk it up and dump on you every time. All right, and um you know, I think someone even said, "Oh, you're just mad because you didn't you you weren't you didn't do it or you you didn't buy it at this price or you know, some other conjured up bullshit they come up with all the time. And you know what I say to that is, uh, one, I'm glad I didn't do it. And two, uh, I'm not going to fall for that kind of shit. All right. And so, um, and that's the name of the game when it comes to playing with tokens, right? Tokens is just a pump and dump game all the time. This was just a long play. You know, it's been around what, a couple years now. Kind of like how Hex was right hex was a long play and and that was like a large run up to a major kind of dump <laughs> to you guys and the only one that could really dump all you guys hard in both these instances whether it's hex or however you want to call it pulse chain hex and drip is the original the original original guy right the original operator behind it, right? Forex, largest holder. He could say all the shit he wants to say, but he could just dump at will at any time he wants to, just like Richard Hart could dump at will anytime he wants to to cash out the rest uh, of the money that was put in the sacrifices there. And for this drip stuff, if he wants to pull the deal because it's no, it's not going anywhere, well, Forex Shark can pull that deal and just, Yank the carpet out of this thing. All right. So uh, they're the biggest holders of these things, of course, because they're the ones that were behind it. So they got to be the biggest holders. So be prepared because it can happen at any given time. Uh, let's see. Pigs up uh, pretty much flat for the day there. And still down for the week. For pigs down six percent, so nearly a dollar down. That's pretty significant though for this thing. And uh, dogs, it's about flat too, pretty much, right? Down one percent. It's kind of flat because it started out two twenty nine, added all its ups and downs for a little bit, and then it's still at two twenty seven. It's still kind of flat. So all this garbage. You know, that has been, I mean, when you really think about it, what did Animal Farm really do? All right. What did Animal Farm really do for you? What did Animal Farm do for Drip? Except just put in more money into it. Nothing. All right. Think about it. These side projects, side hustles are supposed to help benefit the whole ecosystem. But what did it really do? Nothing. Right. Especially if you guys bought it at those, oh man, those crazy high prices back then when pigs was like 500 something, 600 something each, right? It was supposed to be the next thousand dollar coin as, as predicted by the, the chosen one Tiwi, right? And then, uh, dogs, man, that was like, oh shit. Well, I, I don't even know what the highest was at the time, but. Uh, well, let's see. It shows the highest here. I'm not sure what it was 
when it was version one, because this is version two. Uh, all time high on version two here is around 58, it looks like. Or 59 at all time high. Uh, here. I'm not sure, quite sure. I think it was high. I want to say it was higher, though, um, on version one. But think about that, though. If you bought it at these prices and now you're looking at it at $2.27, sad. Because, again, what did these pigs and dogs really do for you? For anything whatsoever? For drip? What did it really do? Nothing. Right? Think about it. Nothing. Obviously, it didn't serve TB well because he was trying to use pigs to help so-called pay people back the lost B&B, &B, which was bullshit because we all know he stole the money. But two, how? Especially, <laughs> imagine if he was to run it to this very day, trying to serve you guys, you know, quote-unquote payback by using pigs. And, um, you know, him buying it at 300 something bucks each, and it's only like thirteen fifty right now. Like, how are you going to be able to do that? You know? So, this is funny. And uh, the silence speaks volumes, right? All the time, it, it just speaks volumes. Because uh, last time, I think Forex said anything. I mean, what did he really say? So, all this coverage is all done by barter clown all right so nothing really truly happening is this everything is through the parrot of uh barter clown here because barter clown is the parrot of, Fe of forex right and uh and forex is not saying nothing well he'll just come out with a bunch of crap because i know barter clown i i seen him <laughs> before drip all right and uh, before drip you know, he tried to latch on with Tiwi, which I don't know why, <laughs> but that's how he came in the picture. All right, he was a nobody and got lucky with, uh, you know, Forex Shark and um, Drip and all that. And that's sometimes what it takes, man. You find the right people at the right time and you get, you know, it's luck, you know. Um, and that's what happened there. Like, I could have maybe done the same thing. I could have just happened to cross paths with Forex Shark and then next thing you know, bam. The rest would have been history, right? But Stun and Breezy beat me there, and uh, and Barter Clown beat me there. But uh, but hey, could it could have been me, right? Shit, it could have been anybody. Just the timing, and it could have been Tiwi. <laughs> but but it didn't happen, you know. So of course, the Barter Clown's the the puppet, the not the puppet, the parrot of Bar of Forex now, right? Just whatever thing Forex has, he he squawks it out. <laughs> So, so uh, of course, Barter Clown will never have anything bad to say because you, what is there, you know, bad to say about it. He made a lot of money from it. Cool. But you know what, though? Even if I made a lot of money in any given project, I'll still be critical about the project when shit hits the fan. You know? It's not, I'm not going to ever say, oh, you got to stay positive and no fudding. When I'm just trying to give you a dose of true reality of what's happening here. So, I don't know. It's just, that's the difference between me and these fools out here. Because, like I said, I don't care how much money I made in a project. I don't care if I made a, a, a bang load of money. Right? But it shit is the fan. It shit is the fan. I'm not going to try to tell you, hey, you could be a new whale. <laughs> Because I've been calling that shit out for a long time. Well, when you have the people like the Jamies saying you could be a new whale when prices were dipping down so low. And I'm just like, you kidding me? You're going to try to be a whale in this? Of course, now that's not his message anymore since the prices have been staying down. Right? That's not what he's saying now. But man, when he was saying that, I was like, really? <laughs> you can, Go ahead. I dare you guys to be the new whale then. That way you guys can hold a shit bag full of these shit coins and uh, get nothing out of it. But it'll make Ye Ellie Yan proud, right? Ellie Yan of Arbitrage. It'll make her proud because she loves holding bags of shit coins. She has closets full of that. <laughs> Worthless shit coins. All right, ask her about it. 
Yeah. Comment down below. I'll see you next